How's it going, everybody? How's it going, everyone? My name is Gingium, and welcome back to some Forza Motorsport 6. Now, today we have a 1997 BMW M3 E36. Um, it's. Uh, it, we have not done enough BMWs or Mercedes or German cars, you know. We are, we are going to make this... I can't do a German accent. Okay. But today we are actually going to be recreating Cam's car from Hager Garage. We are going to be making this thing mint, but with our own twist. Uh, and then we're going to be drifting around online with you guys and having fun. So, let's get started. Alright, engines. We've got a 2.6 liter i6, which I believe is the RB26. <laughs> that would be kind of funny to swap that in here. We have a LS1, and we have a V10 from the M5, and I think. Uh, we're going to stay with the stock engine, just because fun. And we are going to turbo it. Nice nice little single turbo. I don't know if Cam is planning on doing that. I think he is. Maybe using one of the Lexus's turbos. I don't know. But, um, let's see here. We are making 400 horsepower right now. I want somewhere around 500. So obviously this is not exactly like Cam's car, because he's not making 500 horsepower, but whatever, that's fine. Like I said, with our own twist. Um, 508, see the thing is we're only making 300 foot-pounds of torque, so let's get the turbo in here. And I think that's good, 600 horsepower, 440 foot-pounds of torque. Cool. Um, I'm also going to upgrade the flywheel, because A, weight reduction, and B, fasting rev, rev, right. Now for platform and handling, I'm going to do... Uh, I'm gonna do sport weight reduction because he's got a pretty stripped interior. All right. I also don't want it too light, so I think that's good, happy medium. I don't think he has a roll cage, but I'm gonna put it in there because that's kind of cool. I love roll cages on drift cars. I'm gonna do anti roll bars all around. Um, I will get springs for show. Oh yeah, that looks much better. Cool. And then I should also get brakes just because why not, right? Now for the drivetrain, I'm just gonna fully upgrade it. All right, so with our tires, rims, all that, um, I'm going to put, I'm going to get two 55s on the back and two 35s on the front. I like that. And then I'm going to put, um, I think I'm going to put sport tire compound on there. So I'm thinking I want a little bit more grip this time. I don't know why I'm feeling that, but I am. So I'm going to do sport tire compound. For our wheels, uh, we don't really have salad shooters in here, obviously. We can get something probably decently close. I mean, that looks pretty sick, honestly. That's tempting. It's very tempting. But let, let's look around here. I mean, these aren't really salad shooters, but they have that classic kind of stance vibe. So I think this is what we're going to do. They are equip ones They are actually... I was tempted to go with these for the Miata. I didn't end up doing it, but I was very tempted. I'm going to make them a little bit bigger, too. Um, I like 18s. That looks good. Sadly, we can't get stretch tires, but... That's okay. Car's looking pretty mint, I'd say. I like stancy rims on BMWs. I don't know why. Front bumper, we can add cool. No. Rear bumper, no. And does he have a wing? I don't think he does. Let me check. Although it looks awesome, he does not have one. So I took it off and we're ready to continue. All right. Now for the paint, really all we're going to do is we're going to go over here to Metal Flake and then we're going to try to make a mint color. This might be difficult. <laughs> I think this is pretty close. Is it perfect? No. By all means, no. All right, that's good enough. Good enough. We're not gonna get perfect. It's fine. We just have to make it mint, right? Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. Now I'm gonna make the wheels white, obviously, because he's got white salad shooters. I'm gonna tint the windows because that's cool. Um, and I can't really do anything else. I'd love to add some stickers in the big Hagger garage banner. We can't do that, so we're not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do much with the tune because I want to see how the car feels first, but. I'm going to start off by lowering the gear ratio to 390 instead of 420, you know, totally. I'm going to I'm gonna keep the camber where it is, toe out in the front, and angle caster all the way high. And then uh, I'm going to slam it, and we're going to call it, call it done. All right, boys, here we are. I love how low this thing is. It looks so freaking good. I love this thing. Oh. It's, uh, it's quite high pitch. It's not like a big rumbly growl. It's because it's a V6, but it sounds nice. Let's burn some rubber. Oh, yeah. I love those wheels. I'm sorry. I just, I think they look so good. This is like such a stancy drift car. I'm, I'm kind of in love, honestly. 
Oh yeah. You know, who who thinks I did a better mint color than they did? This is actually like green. Theirs is so blue. But oh my god, I love these rolling burnouts. They're so. Oh no, oh, shit. Okay, poor tires. Let's actually do some drifting here. See how the car feels. Third gear. Little touchy. It feels nice though. Oh, <laughs> yes, it feels nice. 8,000, oh, all right. Banked 8,000 points. Yeah, it feels real good. There's some things we can do though. Lowering the tire pressure in the back to get some more grip. Um, adding some more front camber, cause I think that was a little bit too grippy. Uh, and let's try that. Also, I forgot to lock the differential. Whoops. Yeah, but <laughs> I actually really like this thing. I don't know why. It looks so good though. Like, this color is, well, mint. <laughs> Still a little touchy, but feels really good. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, son. Two perfect drifts in a row. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Got a couple of cones there. Oh god. Going in hard, but <laughs> It just holds it. I love this thing. Oh my god. Oh uh, wow. Okay, this thing is amazing at drifting. I love how low it is too. Look at that front. It's almost tucking rim. It's a little hovercraft, but that's alright. Uh, so yeah, cool. This thing drifts really well. Not the perfect tune, as always. But I think it's time to take it online and drift with some of you guys. <laughs> I am really liking this car. Holy shit. <laughs> and there you go. Alright, well, sadly none of you guys wanted to come play, so we're online. And why is it night? Like, out of all the maps that could have been chosen, we have some gay ass nighttime one. Fucking Christ. Alright, this is why you don't play online, guys. I don't know this map at all, and it's nighttime, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh my god, I almost just died. <laughs> okay. I have no idea where I'm going. I can't see shit. But hey, I'm drifting, so I'm not mad. There we go, holding the corner, finally. About time. Now that I actually got rid of all the people. Oh yes, oh, a little bit too much angle there. Brought it back though. Damn, yeah, yeah, I like that. Not the most amount of points, but that felt clean. There we go. Finally a track that I'm actually used to. Good transition. Nice. Exit wasn't the best, but it's okay. Oh, actually, Forza says it was perfect. Well, thank you. Oh, that was so clean. 10,000 points. Wow. See, this thing is so good. It's really, really controllable. If you're going full throttle, it's a little a little touchy, but as long as you're careful on the throttle. I mean, that's kind of the same thing of every car, though. Oh, 
Oh, a little bit too close on the inside line. <laughs> Another 8,000 points. Just a little, you know, casual 8,000 points, though. I, I really like the first person view, too, actually. I think it's helping me. But weight transfer there. Oh, a little bit too much weight transfer, though. Come on, keep my puntos. Cool. 11,000. Wow. I think we got perfect drifts on every single corner. Ah, oh, but she looks good, doesn't she? Looks real good. Gotta be careful about that transition right there. Sometimes if you do it too hard, you can lose it. But I didn't lose it. It's this car, dude, I'm telling you. Uh, this thing is insane. Wow. <laughs> the way it transfers through corners is incredible. This thing is so smooth. Uh, wow. I'm going to be uploading the tune because this thing is good. And if you're bad at drifting, you can be good at drifting. Man, inside line again. Whoops. I love how this thing just destroys these corners and these tires at the same time. Oh, oh, God, almost went off the... Wow, okay. So this thing is amazing. But guys, I'm gonna have to end it there. Uh, I'm sorry if it's a little bit of a shorter video. I was working on the Yada all day today, so now took up a lot of my time. But here we have an amazing E36 slightly based off of Cam's E36 from Hacker Garage. Guys, if you did enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps me out just so much. You, it, it's crazy. We've almost already hit 28,000 subscribers. Uh, wow. Uh, but if you want to get in touch with me, you can check me out on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I will try my best to respond. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I love this car so much. This thing's so sick. Ah, oh my god. I'm going to be using this a lot. But, um, guys, peace out. What's that MXI this? I think first gear is a little bit too short, but... Oh, bye bye. Have a great time. I love it. 8.2? I think that Miata is almost...